They say, try to live every day like it's your last, and let no day be an exception. Well, my day is just about to begin. I just wish it wasn't to that sound. Today is my day off, and for me, days off are very few and far between, as my job is very demanding. Day off or not, my day usually starts the same, beginning with waking up a single man in a double bed and seeing the same view from the same window. I have a hot shower in which I spend a few moments contemplating life every time I pick up the razor. I then just continue shaving only the edges of my beard in an attempt to add a little extra edge to my look. After brushing my teeth, the differences between working days and non-working days begin to show. I generally have no regard for trend, I don't know which colours clash, and I couldn't care less if my branding label was on the outside or the inside. Having time to make a cup of tea is clear evidence that it's a day off, as I'm usually running late by now, and maybe add a little extra flavour. After a cup of tea, I have a cigarette, my first of the day. Then head down to my personal space, which I had built with soundproofing, as the walls between my house and my neighbours are paper thin. You see, with my job comes a certain reputation, which one must uphold. And actions such as these would cast doubt on the legitimacy of the person I claim to be. Moving on, I then have a little something to wake me up, which... Oh, fuck. Empty. In these circumstances, a phone call to my supplier is required, which will go something like... Hey, man, it's me. I'm calling through in an hour to pick up a bag of my usual. Okay. A cigarette later, I'm on my way. I grab some refreshments and head out. I've timed the journey numerous times and I average around 50 minutes. Again, I need to be out of the public eye doing such things, so distance, as much as it can be a challenge, helps. As predicted, I arrive at my destination 52 minutes later, and though I am far from home, I attempt to subtly conceal my identity to some degree. My supplier is a man of little words and even less character. Miles from home, I feel confident enough to sample my purchase without being noticed by anyone who may know me. And for the first time today, I feel alive. An hour later, I return home and numb my already chemically altered brain some more with some television. Okay. 
I need to resist that temptation as I'm not an addict. Television rarely does it for me. I usually go and lay on the bed with all the intentions of not falling asleep. I check the inevitable status of my online dating, which always adds fact to the theory that my compatibility with others is non-existent. Realising this influences a drink. And another drink. And maybe another drink. And with that, all those good intentions of not falling asleep become less likely. Some considerable hours later, I wake up and realise the day has gone. Ever the optimist. To gain some kind of compensation for the hours I've lost, I quickly shower, including hair wash, then get changed for a night out. In these times, I do consider what I wear a little more. And as a peacock plumes its colours, I try to attract. Let this drink signify the start of tonight. I am to some degree safe in the club, as the people that come here are unlikely to associate with me in my line of work. However, my unorthodox method of attraction, which basically consists of me scrolling the menus of my phone to appear like I have some degree of social life, really should be addressed. Fuck this place. I'm out of here. But not before something to keep me awake and feeling alive. As embarrassing as it is to admit, I often find myself in the places where the lights shine red. Though I have found a way of saving considerable money. I simply pull up alongside someone, I take in all their details from the features in their face, the smell of their perfume, and what they're wearing, then drive away. I then search the internet for videos which I can imagine myself and her in, giving me services I would otherwise be embarrassed to ask for. As I am working in a couple of hours, I now need to focus all my attention on just staying awake. I don't know at what point I fell asleep, but what I do know is I now have one hour and 22 minutes to get ready and find my way home. Yes, fuck indeed. Of course, I'll have to wake up quickly. Have my first cigarette of a new day. And make myself look somewhat presentable, as my job comes with a certain reputation. One which must be upheld. Time to put on my brave face and face the crowd. It's expected. And so the new day begins. I don't have time to shower, and that cup of tea will have to wait, as my job is very demanding. They say you should live every day like it's your last, and my name's John Adams, and I live every day like it's my last.